Hello everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing well. Bienvenidos, espero que estén muy bien. In this video, we are going to wrap up our study of the preterite verb tense in Spanish with irregular verbs. This is the last video in a series of videos about the preterite. If you haven't seen my other videos on the preterite, go back to my channel homepage and you can find them there. I've also created a playlist with only videos that have to do with the preterite. So if you really want to review the entire preterite verb tense, everything there is there on the playlist. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So remember that the preterite is equivalent to the simple past in English. And we use the preterite in Spanish to talk about things that we did. When we use the preterite, the action is also considered to be a completed action. In other words, it's done and over with. Okay, so one of the most common irregular verbs in the preterite is the verb hacer. Remember, hacer means to make or to do. And as you already know, whenever you hear the word irregular having to do with a verb, it just means that you have to memorize it. So native speakers memorize these irregular verbs through practice. Notice the forms, the endings are different than the endings that you're accustomed to seeing on verbs in the preterite. So you have to memorize those new endings. And then of course you have to memorize the irregular root that you see. And then there's also spelling changes along the way. So notice the forms here for the verb hacer. Remember that the H is silent. So we have hice. Hice, hice means I, I made or I did. Hiciste, you made or you did. Hizo, remember that can have several meanings. You made, you did, or he made, he did, she made, she did. Hicimos, we made or we did. Hicisteis, the vosotros or the vosotras, remember you made or you did. And hicieron, they made or they did. And remember hicieron also goes with ustedes. So ustedes hicieron would mean you made or you did. So hacer by itself just in general means to make or to do. Hacer is also used with other words for particular expressions. For example, hacer la tarea means to do the homework. Hacer la cama means to make the bed. Hacer las maletas will, would mean to pack suitcases. Hacer ejercicio would mean to exercise. So uh, again, hacer by itself to make or to do, but it's also used in a lot of other expressions. So let's go ahead and start the practice here. Hacer la tarea. How would you say in Spanish, I did the homework? Hacer la tarea. Yo, hacer la tarea. Hice la tarea. Hice la tarea. I did the homework. Now I want to ask you the question, did you do the homework? Did you do the homework? Remember, did is from the emphatic do in English. We always ask questions uh, with the emphatic do if it's a yes or a no question. Literally, what you want to say is, did you the homework? And of course, without the you in Spanish, it's not necessary to use the tú. So the question, did you do the homework? Hiciste la tarea. Hiciste la tarea. Did you do the homework? Hiciste la tarea. Hacer ejercicio is to exercise. So we want to say she exercised, which literally we say she made exercise, but it means to exercise. Hacer ejercicio, the whole phrase together. So she exercised. Ella hizo ejercicio. Ella hizo ejercicio. She exercised. Ella hizo ejercicio. They packed the suitcases. Ellos hicieron las maletas. 
Ellos hicieron las maletas. They packed the suitcases. Ellos hicieron las maletas. Okay, for this question, we're going back just to the general verb hacer, which is to make or to do. If you want to ask the question, what did you do yesterday? It would be what? What would the question be? Did you, what did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hiciste ayer? ¿Qué hiciste ayer? What did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hiciste ayer? If I'm being formal, if I'm using usted with someone and you want to ask them, what did you do yesterday? It's the same question in English, but in Spanish, we use usted to be formal. ¿Qué hizo usted ayer? ¿Qué hizo usted ayer? What did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hizo usted ayer? You can drop the usted if it's understood in the context of the conversation. You could just ask the question, ¿Qué hizo ayer? Okay, so remember, hacer is irregular and the only other thing you need to know is the other irregular preterite verbs in Spanish. So the most common are venir. Notice the forms. Querer. Uh, venir is to come. Querer to want. Tener to have. Estar, one of the verbs for to be. Poder. To be able to. Poner, to put, decir, to say, and traer, to bring. So I will have separate videos for each one of these other irregular verbs, so you can go ahead and have a look at those if you want more practice. Otherwise, this is a good overview of all of the irregular preterites. So again, hacer, venir, querer, tener, estar, and poder, poner, decir, and traer, and it's really just a matter of memorizing through practice. Fortunately, there aren't too many irregular preterite verbs, but the irregular preterite verbs that do exist are used very often in conversation, so it's really important to learn them. Okay, well that's it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Es todo. Nos vemos. Chao.